Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it, just smash that subscribe button guys. Make sure you're going down below and dropping an early like as well. But yeah, sorry for not uploading over the past couple of days. My schedule has been messed up, but we're back. Daily uploads are back, so don't worry about that. And in today's video, before I do say what it is, even though you've probably already seen the title and the thumbnail, I haven't copied anyone before anyone decides to roast me again about copying people like I did in the XP video. This was actually recommended by some guy over on Twitter. I'll probably have him pop up on the screen right now. Can't remember his name, so I do apologise for that, but you're on the screen right now, so shout out to you. And that is going to be my settings inside of Modern Warfare. The settings I play on in my personal favourite settings. Uh, they're pretty much the same every single year for me. The only thing I tend to adjust is the sensitivity. It just works for me differently in different games. I have no idea why. Kind of weird. But yeah, we're going to have strength and settings right now. And as you can see on your screen, this is my settings. Nothing too, you know, special or anything. There's nothing really being altered. I do play on the standard default button layout and stick button layout. Uh, I do use a scuff controller as I press a button there. Um, to be honest, I made a switch to a scuff uh, at the start of Black Ops 4, and now I've made this the switch to a scuff. I would I wouldn't go back. You know, if this was to break, uh, depending on the funds, obviously, if I had if I had the funds, I would buy another scuff straight away. I wouldn't even think about buying a standard default PS4 controller. And obviously, this is nothing sponsored, but I would highly recommend picking up a scuff. I've had this for getting on two years now. As you can see, it's pretty beat. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. Uh, the thumbsticks are looking a bit worse for wear. I don't play with any control freaks, but I do have the raised thumbsticks, so they are a little bit higher as default on this scuff. You know, it comes with, you know, it's pretty, it's an awesome controller, but that's not what we're here to talk about anyway. So we're playing default button layout, default stick layout, and if you do have a scuff and you want to know my scuff settings, uh, I use X on the right trigger and circle on the left trigger. I don't play with all four, it's just something I don't like. But yeah, so that's just my scuff settings anyway, and I do have the trigger stops as well, if you're wondering as well. Um, but yeah, I play on default. If you have a standard PS4 controller, I would recommend going for a default on the button layout. Or no, what is it? No, tactical. Probably tactical, I think it is. No, no. I used to play on tactical, uh, just for the simple fact you can crouch and slide without taking your fingers off the analog sticks but you could go for which one is it stick and move which is probably your best bet you can jump with the r3 button which gives you the ability to jump shot and stuff without taking your fingers off the analog sticks which is huge in call of duty it always has been so if you do play with the default controller i would recommend stick and move 100 percent but uh, like i said i used to actually play tactical for some weird reason uh, stick layout would be as well if you have a standard ps4 controller i would use the where is it so even on here, I've not even been on the settings too much. Uh, but basically, the flipped where you shoot with L1 and R1. Unfortunately, I don't know where about this. It's in the settings. I think it's on button layout. Surely it's on button layout. Is it? No, I don't know. I don't have a clue where it is. But where you shoot with L1 and R1 just gives you a kind of, you know, um, trigger stop kind of feel. They're a lot shorter to press. They don't take as long. Uh, so it gives you a slight edge. I used to play with that as well when I did play it on the standard PS4 controller. It helped me out massively because it is a little bit of a delay when pressing the triggers. That's why you can get trigger stops on a scuff. But yeah, I play on default invert look, invert vertical look because I don't know why you would play with this inverted. It's absolutely crazy. I've tried it before for a challenge just with my friends. Absolutely stupid. Dead zone is just standard i've not altered this 0.05 this is just what i play on don't I, this has never been in any settings before so i've never really played around with it i play on 12 sensitivity which is probably a little bit high for a lot of people uh, to be honest a lot of people play around the 6 to 10 range i would say and i know 10 is still pretty high but 6 is probably like a middle ground and i used to play on 6 uh, back in the day like a medium sensitivity until black ops 4 which is a super fast paced game i played it very competitively and switching my sensitivity up to a high sensitivity on that game allowing me to spin on people and sort of do all that kind of thing helped me massively and um, so i did keep the high sensitivity going into this game as well and it has helped me out a lot i've had a nice uh, you know few moments where this has helped me dramatically just because of how slow paced this game was at the start i felt like having the high sensitivity would help me you know, play even fast paced, which it does. It takes a while to get used to. A lot of people don't like it. They're gonna miss a lot of shots, but after you practice and practice with this thing, it'll just become norm. You know, I can hit my shots pretty well with it. I am thinking of 
uh, knocking it down a little bit just for the simple fact is I do miss some, <laughs> some shots which I think I probably should uh, you know hit so that's just me personally you know playing bad but I would recommend a not too low sensitivity to be honest because it's just going to mess you up in some aspects but it's all personal preference sensitivity is up to you guys so whatever you prefer whatever you find comfortable it's up to you so make sure you find out that right balance I mean I've spoke about this before but no I haven't haven't spoke about sensitivity before I made a video on how to improve your aim in Modern Warfare I've never released it so I might release that one smash the like button if you want to see that it's a pretty good video uh, ADS sensitivity is on one I know a lot of people like to increase this when using a sniper I think it is uh, if you're a sniper you might want to increase that a little bit but I don't obviously I don't really snipe too much uh, aim response curve type is standard uh, to be honest something I've never seen before in settings so I just kept it standard how it used to be so it's pretty cool I mean linear a lot of people do play in linear actually aim stick maps directly to aim rate means nothing to me it's a different language to me I just keep on standard works for me a big one big one here controller vibration disabled I'll admit I used to love controller vibration on if you take this off your accuracy is going to be immensely better sounds so so strange but if you think about it, you're trying to control the analog stick and you're vibrating. It's gonna actually knock your aim off, which is a which is it actually does. I didn't believe it until I tried it. Same thing. It's the only thing I did last year in Black Ops Four. Uh, like I said, I was playing it competitively, so my friend of mine said you need to take control of vibration off. You'd be a different player. Took it off, and I was a different player. You know, crazy. I can't stand it now. So I'd highly recommend turning control of vibration off. 100%. We have aim assist, which is just standard, you know, traditional aim, slow down near target. You know, it is one of them things. I would uh, definitely not recommend having it disabled. You definitely want to enable. It's going to give you, a, you know, if you have it disabled, you're at a massive disadvantage, basically. You know, you're going to struggle. You don't want it on precision, really, unless you're a very accurate player, which is, if you, if, even if you're a very accurate player, there's still no point. And focusing, you definitely don't want that down. Oh well, unless you're a new player, I guess strong aim slow down that also kicks in when narrowly missing target. So I don't know. I just keep it standard. Is the best balance to me. To be honest, I've always played on uh, standard aim assist. Just all you can. You well, you've never been able to change it until now, uh, apart from having it enabled and disabled. So just keep that on standard. You will not go wrong with that. Weapon mount is ADS and then R three. Um, or melee as it says there so that's kind of up to you whatever you, you kind of prefer I just have the melee obviously because you're already going to have your finger on that button if you need to do a quick mount which sometimes I mean you do not very often but yeah you know you never know so weapon mount movement exit so if you move it just brings you out the mount I would recommend leaving this on enabled because you never know when you're going to have to get out of a sticky situation you could start getting shot at and you need to quickly move out of the way of them bullets so just move and it's going to move you so definitely have that enabled aim down sight behavior is hold I would definitely never have it on toggle I think PC players do it on toggle I might be wrong but the only time I played Call of Duty on PC it was on a toggle setting so I might be wrong uh, but I'm not 100% so obviously if you hold the aim button it's going to aim as soon as you let go it's going to not aim so I would definitely recommend having it like that if you have it on toggle you're going to click it once and it's going to stay ADS and then click it again to get off it I would not have recommend that to be honest at all Equipment behavior. I don't know if this is really bothered about this. Uh, kind of weird. I don't know. I just have it on hold instead of toggle. So same principle. If you want to throw a grenade, you tap it, then you tap it again to throw it. Now I don't think I'd have it on that hold. It's definitely the way. Use reload behavior to tap to reload, tap to use. I don't know what this is. To be honest, I have no idea. Okay, so after a quick read, we have found out what this is. So basically, if you're going to reload, just tap square or X or whatever console you're playing on or PC I think it's R um, and then you hold square to like pick up a C4 or activate something around the map so if you're playing Warzone and you want to activate I don't know one of the easter eggs the phones you hold it or if you have it on tap to use you have tap to use like a interactable thing around the map and hold it to reload or contextual tap is to tap to reload or to use with priority on use when possible so say you're you tap to reload, but then you just yeah, then it says you know press square to interact with whatever it is. Then you can tap it as well at the same time. So one of them is personal preference again. I have it on tap to reload personally because you know just the way I have it. Depleted ammo weapon switch. So as soon as you run out of ammo, it will switch to your secondary weapon. I have this enabled. Uh, doesn't really matter really because 
I don't know, just enable it, I guess. If you run out of ammo you don't expect it, it's going to switch to a sidearm. But I don't actually use a secondary weapon, I use a knife, just personally. Uh, slide behavior is hold or tap. Yet again, it's something that's entirely up to you. I have it on hold, because sometimes I want to crouch instead of slide. So that's just me. Auto move forward is disabled. I would have that disabled, because you know you might want to stop moving forward, yet, but you can't, you're just going to keep moving forward. So disable that. Automatic sprint is disabled, you don't always want to be sprinting do you, so let's be honest. Uh, vehicle camera recenter is enabled, so you just want to make sure that's always recentering I guess. I guess it's a good thing. And parachute auto deploy is definitely enabled as well, <laughs> you don't want to die from fall damage. So yeah, that's pretty much it, sorry if it was a bit all over the place, I've never actually really gone through my settings before. Uh, apart from obviously when I changed them and not really thought about it, but... Like I said at the start, the only thing I've really changed is control vibration disabled, it's a must, and vertical and horizontal sensitivity are a 12. That's my personal settings, they don't have to be this, this isn't going to make you into a better player, this isn't going to make you play like me. Everybody plays differently, everybody has their own playstyle, you've just got to find the right balance for you. Hopefully maybe you can go for guideline for this, the only thing I would recommend is control vibration, it will improve your aim, I can promise. Uh, but yeah, I don't play with control freaks, I don't play with the standard PS4 controller, just play over the scuff. The scuff impact, huge difference to my game, you would not believe it. I, <laughs> My friends called me a cheater for playing this, they think it's a modded controller, but try to tell them, it doesn't like, make your aim better or anything like that, basically it allows you to just press buttons without taking your fingers off the analog sticks, it's crazy, and we've got an update, check in for update on Warzone, pretty cool, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys, you can't see the settings anymore, so I do apologise, uh, but yeah, make sure you do follow them if you want. Or just use your own, let me know what you use in the comments. Got this outro, it's all over the place. But yeah, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. If you guys are new around here, make sure smashing that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. I've got some spicy Warzone content coming for you guys. I know you don't usually see me in the Warzone menus, but I've been playing it a lot. So some spicy Warzone content. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. I miss out on that one. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them will be in the description below. But yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.